Hi, I'm Kelly Collegio, Councilwoman Mayor Pro Tem, and today I'm out here in the middle of Butcher Park. You know, when my uh, kids were little, they played t-ball right over here at the park, and it was always inevitable that no matter how much you prepared ahead of time, when we got to the park, one of the kids would have to use the restroom. And back in the day, um, these restrooms were open. Now these restrooms were built with taxpayer funds. You built these restrooms and, and you expect them to be open, to be able to utilize by you and your family when you take um, the time to come out to the park. Um, recently, uh, since the mayor's been in office, uh, they, have, they took steps to outsource the jobs that, that used to be, um, the workforce used to do it in-house. We used to have parks and rec workers that would um, supervise and work with the local youth in the community to keep our parks in good shape, do the maintenance at our parks, um, do all the landscaping, and they would oversee the restrooms and make sure the bathrooms were fully functioning. We were told recently at a meeting where the administration um, had to request $3.5 million just to bring our parks up to the standard where they should be because they were in such poor shape that it was now considered an emergency. It's a sad day when the upkeep of your parks are an emergency in the third largest city in the state. Total lack of administration, in my opinion. Um, as a grandmother, nothing's worse than finally making it to the restroom with your little ones and the door being locked. It means that you inevitably have to go home or run to a business just to take your kids to use a restroom. Um, totally unacceptable. A lot of the jobs with the mowing out here and um, the upkeep, you know, you'll have a vendor come out and mow now and the mayor on his Facebook where he should not really be discussing city policy, but on his Facebook, he's made comment to the fact that um, the lawn mowing companies that we um, outsource to couldn't get the workers across the border. You know, hire American local workers, hire our local kids again, bring it back in house so we can have our lawns mowed, the parks look great, Parks should never be an emergency again. That's absolutely unacceptable. We had a park in Rec Millage. That's what that money was for. But obviously it wasn't utilized in the correct way. It was mismanaged, in my opinion, because when people come out and you outsource jobs, while the person may be out here outsourced to mow the lawn, they're not even gonna take a glance at, at perhaps the bathroom or the play structure because they're only outsourced to do one job. When you have in-house workers, they encompass all the work. So bring the jobs back in-house, hire those local um, youth and, and hire American workers and bring it back in and bring it in-house so we can have our bathrooms open. And by the way, I'll just end with this. We were also told that most of the park bathrooms, many of them are not even ADA compliant. And that the inside of some of the bathrooms is in such bad disrepair that people can't utilize them even if you did open the door. It's unacceptable. Um, no park in the city of Warren should not be ADA compliant. So I'm just out here today by the park, um, going to several parks in the city today, just looking around, seeing what's going on and what that $3.5 million is being used to um, <clears throat> try to bring the back, back the parks up to the state where they should be. The city of Warren parks are an emergency, totally unacceptable. Mayor, open the bathrooms back up so our families can utilize our parks and utilize it in a manner that's comfortable for them. Thank you.